Hello, my wonderful Pisceans. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, guys, so we have daydreaming, okay? So it says, I am always longing for you, okay? Sorry about that, guys. I just dropped the card. Okay. So obviously, this is someone who is missing missing you, uh, longing for you, still, you know, feeling connected or thinking of you here. And, you know, for some reason, I'm also getting the word fantasizing from that card. So, you know, could be fantasizing about a future with you or, you know, how things could have been or should have been that sort of energy. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, guys, so we have the King of Pentacles in reverse, though, on the bottom of the deck here. Split the deck and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay. Some of you may have this person blocked. If that's not the case, they there's an energy of them wanting to like speak to you, but they feel like you have some sort of a guard up. So they could want you to let your guard down. Um, but with the King of Pentacles in reverse, as well as the Nine of Wands, it could also be an energy of someone who feels like they were very secretive or they were very guarded towards you due to their lack of stability. So like, for example, they could have been going through something in their personal life and they may have felt that they did not want to tell you about it or it, it was something that they felt like a bit insecure about so they were keeping it to their self but i do sense that there uh, there's an energy of them almost realizing they weren't as open as they could have been with you okay Okay, so Ten of Wands as the first card here. So Pisces, what I see here, guys, is your person is definitely feeling, it's more like a burdened energy or feeling like very heavy about the connection at this time. Okay, they may also feel like they have so many uh, responsibilities and they're feeling a bit bombarded. Ten of Wands could just be a pretty heavy energy to uh, deal with. They Essentially, they feel like something is weighing them down at this time. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Two of Cups, the Death Card, and the Page of Swords. So some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio, but what I see here is they are still, you know, keeping tabs on you, still wondering what you're up to after, uh, you know, things have, um, like, ended or after this separation here. They still feel extremely connected to you with that Two of Cups energy. I feel like the emotions, you know, they, they definitely can't um, deny the way that they feel towards you, but I will say that they're going through a lot or they feel like there's something that's currently weighing them down is the best way for me to describe that energy so we have the ace of wands in reverse okay bottom of the deck judgment and the queen of cups yeah, this person is trying to accept a change that has occurred in this dynamic. They may even feel like the way that you are now versus who they knew prior to the separation is, is very different. Like they could feel like you've made a lot of personal changes or it's the way that you act towards them, right? Um, but with the judgment card, they are wanting like a, um, like a new start or a change in this dynamic. Um, as you can, as you guys can see here, can I talk today? Wow, what's going on with me? But you know, as you guys can see here, this card does speak about, um, you know, death and rebirth. So they could be wanting to close out a past cycle and wanting to move forward into, you know, a new cycle. So we have the Ace of Wands, but it's in reverse, which means your person may feel a bit hopeless about the situation, but it doesn't change the fact that they want a new beginning. So a part of them wants a new beginning, but a part of them feels hopeless. Maybe that's why we have the daydreaming card, like someone who's doing more thinking, dreaming, fantasizing, as opposed to actually doing. Okay, let's see. Yeah. 
it's like some, this time around something could feel more severe you know this is this seems to be someone that you have history with with the ten of wands and they may feel like something was very repetitive but this time around it's like okay pisces is putting this to an end or there's no way that they're uh coming back around they may view you as someone who is at the point of no return they may also be thinking about how to um like bring more passion or excitement into this bond they may be thinking like if i speak to pisces will that be able to change their mind or will that will their emotions change when it comes to how they view me or how they feel towards me like there is that energy here for sure um but i just feel guys like they they understand that something needs to change within them in order to pursue this connection with you but the main thing i'm getting here is they are this is affecting them on a mental level as opposed to um, you know, thinking about what to do next. It's more so thinking about what they could have done and also dwelling in their emotions that they feel right now. Wheel of Fortune in reverse on the bottom of the deck. So it could be that this person feels that things are not really working out in their favor at this time. You know, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it can kind of be a crummy energy to deal with. It's like when you feel things are moving very slowly for you or nothing is really progressing the way that you want it to. So that could be what's making your person feel very burdened uh, or this is what is burdening your person or what is making them feel like it's, uh, you know, essentially weighing them down. Yeah, Page of Cups in reverse, so this person may feel like they responded to you in a very immature, you know, manner or they handled their emotions, you know, in an immature manner. Page of Cups in reverse could be, again, like emotional immaturity or it could be someone who was like who acts on their emotions, but not for the best. So they let their emotions get the best of them. You may find that when things are smooth sailing with this person, it's great. But then you may also find that when things are not going the best, it could be really bad. Or you feel like when your person's upset with you, they're not really thinking about the things that they say or how it will affect you. So you may find that this person operates from a space of emotions, but it could also come off very impulsive. Bottom of the deck here, the three of swords, the seven of swords, and the hanged man. This person may feel like you're still very focused on, uh, you know, their dishonesty or betrayal that took place here. But with the three of swords and the seven of swords, guys, like this is definitely someone who feels like they've hurt you in one way or another, and they're feeling very torn. Like the reason why they're thinking of you or the reason why they're thinking of how things were in the past is they feel like that's the place that they can derive some sort of happiness or comfort from. Because when they think about where you guys are currently, it, it it's frustrating for them. It makes them feel like this is not where I want to be or there's more negative thoughts in the now. So they so what I'm saying is they derive some sort of comfort or happiness from the memories that you guys share. But with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, I will say it's someone that you don't you don't currently trust or so this is what this is what they feel like your perception of them is with the hanged man for some of you you could have figured something out about this person but not really through them it's like if it was through them you had to read in between the lines it's not like they directly admitted to something it's like you had to dig beneath the surface or kind of focus on what they're not saying use your intuition to guide you here but i do see that also what is the uh, ten of wands yeah it's like see the fool in reverse the ace of wands in reverse they're having a hard time figuring out how to have a new beginning here they may even feel a bit hopeless at this time and with the fool card in reverse when they think about the future it's very it's 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 um foggy it's unclear something about it feels very uncertain because what i see here pisces essentially is like because a fool upright right guys it's more like taking a leap of faith even though you don't know what the future holds but with it in reverse it's like they are having a hard time taking a leap of faith because they don't know what the future holds so they're they have a worry or fear when it comes to what can possibly happen or where this connection is headed this may even be someone who wants to feel a sense of control like they know where things are going or they know what your response is going to be it's not really someone who's trying to do something in the whim of the moment right it's more like if I just decide to be impulsive and, and, you know, reach out to Pisces, what if I make the situation worse than what it is? So they are very, like, afraid of rejection or afraid of, like, the outcome. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, the moon in reverse. They definitely want to reveal their emotions to you. And I also feel there could have been some sort of a distraction at play here. Because the moon upright could also speak about like um, following through with something, going through with something without being distracted. But with it in reverse, maybe this person feels like there was something that was constantly bothering them. Someone or something that was constantly in the way and they want to reveal why they weren't able to move forward uh, you know, to you. This is also someone who feels like they have kept their emotions suppressed where they can no longer hold back. So it's like when you're bottling up all your emotions and you're like, I feel like I'm going to implode, so I just want to release it kind of thing. Um, and then we have the world card, the two of cups and the page of swords. Sorry, guys, one second. Okay, I thought we weren't rolling. Okay. Okay. So the world, um, the two of cups and the page of swords, this is definitely someone who is still keeping tabs on you because they feel connected to you. They want, you know, um, a cycle to come to an end. But I think that the main thing they want right now is to reveal, you know, how they feel, reveal the emotions that they have kept suppressed for a while. So what is the uh, death card? Five of Wands. Yeah, there's something that was in the way of this connection, guys. Five of Wands could be when there's like conflict in your external environment, but you feel powerless about it because you can't control what other people do. Instead, you can only control, you know, how you react to it. So I do feel like um, maybe for some of you, there was like a, another lover involved. It could be like a friend or a family member. It could be many obstacles, guys. Five of Wands doesn't always have to be a person. It could be someone who maybe needed to relocate in order to pursue a connection with you. So, you know, take it how it resonates, but they do feel like something was constantly in the way and they were having a hard time overcoming an obstacle. And now they want to tell you what that obstacle, you know, is. Some of you may know what that obstacle is because with the moon that can speak of intuition as well. But they may want you to hear it from them. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Wands, the Temperance, the Page of Wands. Yeah, they want to make peace with you, but the first thing they want to do is let their guard down. Like, that's what I'm persistently getting. It's a consistent theme that they don't want to hold back from you. And they, they are aware they weren't as emotionally open as they could have been. More than emotionally open, I think, like, emotionally expressive. Like, they were feeling a lot, but they weren't really verbalizing that to you. And they want to change that now. Okay, why is the Page of Cups in reverse? Some of you could also be matching this person's energy. Like the Page of Cups in reverse, like it could be like when, you know, you know someone has done something to hurt you or they're intentionally doing something to get a reaction from you. So you're kind of like, okay, well, two can play the game. You know, it could be a little bit of like a, not really like petty behavior. I mean, it whatever you want to call it, but it could just be you matching this person's energy here. Um, they could sense that you're like kind of um, like if they were doing something to get a reaction from you, you're purposely not giving them the reaction. Or like if they're trying to, uh, you know, hint something to you, they feel like you're doing it right back to them. Like you're, you know, you're kind of like schooling them at their game here is what I see. What is the page of cups? Five of cups. Yeah. Definitely missing you. Um, for sure with the Five of Cups, but also looking at what they could have done differently. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Justice. Yeah, they feel like when you view them or when you view this bond, you feel like it was very unfair with the Justice in reverse. They may even feel like like things were very one-sided or something that they said, something that they've done was just extremely unfair because they're viewing you as, you know, like when you view the situation, you think that um, either you've given this person, for example, just a generic example, you've given this person the opportunity to express how they feel or their perspective, but you feel like they did not really reciprocate that energy. And you look at the situation as, I wish I was able to say this, or I wish I was able to, uh, you know, reveal this to you before the separation. So unfair treatment is definitely being highlighted here. What is the fool? Hmm. I feel like there's like um like a stubborn energy or like this person doesn't want you to know how they feel. Three of Cups in reverse, Queen of Wands. Oh, okay. So Three of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Wands in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse, Seven of Swords. 
Okay, so Pisces, here's what's going on. The There could have been an energy of your person having to make a decision. And now that they've made a decision, they may feel like they have, you know, came to this conclusion when it's too late. That's scenario A. Scenario B, guys, is you, they may feel like they were um, like destined to be in a very stable commitment with you, but because they fell into temptation or stepped out of it, this could be affecting them. Now, what I will say is this is what they're not showing you. Ten of Cups in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse. They're not happy um, without you. Matter of fact, they're not fulfilled on their own. So even if they made a decision and you were kind of like, okay, well, you can go with the decision that you've made and I'm just going to, you know, try to heal from this or keep to myself. They never stopped thinking about you. They feel like they've made the wrong decision. This person has regret for not being in a commitment with you and they're not showing you this. Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, yeah. Six of Wands in reverse, Seven of Swords. So they, they were being very strategic or they were showing you a side, but that's not really a side of them, but that's not necessarily how they were feeling on the inside. So what is the moon? And that could be the reason why they want, that's, that could be the very thing they want to come clean about or express to you. Because three cups can re in reverse could also be someone who has closed out, you know, a third party. So whether that's another person, whether that's an energy, whether that's, you know, what was what standing in the way could obviously vary, guys. It is a general read, but they could have put an end to that. But now they're looking at it like, how do I reveal that to Pisces? Or will Pisces care that I made a decision now when I did not make that decision then? So there could be something to do with timing here as well. The moon. Yeah, seven of swords. I think this person want, with the moon in reverse, like they want to come clean about why they were being strategic or about something that they were doing behind your back. Yeah, the empress in reverse. It's like for some of you, this person may have not really seen the potential or, or where this connection could go in the past. And they could have, you could have felt very strong along or you could have felt like they were failing to make a decision. But now they're looking at things differently because look, empress in reverse, four of wands in reverse, two of swords in reverse, which is like an energy of, um, you know, the Empress upright obviously talks about, you know, growth and potential, wanting to build, you know, a stable foundation, that kind of thing. And then we have the Four of Wands, which is obviously a card of commitment. But with it in reverse, this person may feel like they did not explore, uh, you know, the entire potential of this connection here, or they they wish they had, um, they were able to like see the future of the connection more clearly instead of making an impulsive decision that now has backfired on them. Because again, two of swords in reverse is actually a pretty positive energy. It's when someone has finally chosen a direction to go in and they have accepted all sides of the story. But in their mind, they feel like, is it too late? Five of wands. It's because you don't trust them with that seven of swords energy. So even if they reveal how they feel, I think that regaining your trust is not going to be an overnight process. Now the Empress is upright, clarifying the Five of Wands. It's pretty much someone who didn't have faith in the connection who now wants to fight for this connection. What they didn't see then, they see now. That's what I'm getting, guys. So it could either be, I could read it as a case of tables have turned, or it's just someone waking up to the connection. You know, with the Ten of Wands, you know, the Fool, it could have just been someone who was in their own way, right? Self-sabotage, not wanting to take a leap of faith because they were uncertain if this connection was going to be stable. But now they're looking at it like they missed out on an opportunity that had the potential to be very stable. Five of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Cups um, in reverse there and Eight of Swords. They're, they're stuck on you, Pisces. I see them feeling very mentally stuck, but also unable to move on because of the unexplored potential. Also unable to move on because they don't agree with the decision that they made in the past here. So I do see someone who is in a lot of regret and possibly wanting to reveal why what they were not being honest about. Or why they were being very strategic. Because for some of you, the Seven of Swords doesn't have to be dishonesty. It could just be someone who is very secretive, moving in a, in a discreet manner, trying to attain information about you um, without directly asking you. You know, that sort of behavior. And they could be wanting to reveal why they were acting the way that they did. So let's see what they want to communicate to you. By the way, um, guys, this is the In the Shadows Oracle card. So they are very raw and uncut messages. Okay, so if that's not something you're interested in, I don't mind if you just skip past this point in my video. Okay, let's see. I don't know how to let you go. Yeah, exactly what I said. Eight of cups in reverse, they can't walk away. Five of cups missing you. 
and and they don't know how to let you go because they feel like they are either waking up to the connection or they feel like they weren't really following through on their emotions in the past right with the fool in reverse like someone who is afraid to take a leap of faith with you or towards you i know i made a mistake okay so this person knows um, what their wrongdoings were could be the reason why they want to come forward or express how they feel your body language says so much So this could be someone who sees you on a daily basis or this could be referring to maybe the last time you guys did hang out They could see that you respond to them in a different manner or you or they could pick up on the energy of you not You know trusting them Anything else you're so easy to see through yeah and with that body language card this person may really feel like you're someone where when you feel your emotions you kind of wear them on your face or they're just able to see and energetically feel how you're feeling okay and then bottom of the deck here it says thank you for leaving me i can still see you standing there so for some of you this person may feel like you had no choice but make a decision for them because they weren't making a decision and that could be the reason why they're thinking about it now like i can't walk away and i've made a decision but how do i come forward okay so my wonderful piscean that is what i'm getting for you this week i really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today and uh, thank you so much for your time